From a life of crime. There was like a hundred of us inside the gang. And um, pretty much that was, it was really bad. To a life Every of ministry and music. Now we can try to make it work or we can quit. I don't tell where I'll be today. You know, could have been dead or in jail. His name is Mario Wilson, and he has quite the story to tell. His story proves that it's really never too late to turn. From a life of crime. There's like a hundred of us inside the gang. And um, pretty much that was, it was really bad. To a life Every of ministry and music. Now we can try to make it work or we can quit. I don't tell where I'll be today. You know, could have been dead or in jail. His name is Mario Wilson, and he has quite the story to tell. His story proves that it's really never too late to turn your life around. Now we can try to make it work or we can quit. These are the sounds of gospel recording artist and Detroit native Mario Wilson. He's rehearsing his new single, He Paid For It. It's here at Detroit's Greater Grace Temple. Mario will take the stage with gospel artists Marvin Sapp and Tamala Mann. It's a big step for the 24-year-old whose life could have gone in a different direction. I actually started being inside of gangs and was very in, um, involved. Um, if it came down to fighting or to actually, um, you know, if it comes to put, pulling out guns, or to scare people, tell them no, you're not to be men with, or things of that nature. Between the ages of 16 and 18, Mario was a part of the gang's gangster disciples and young certified bosses. Did you ever get caught with the law? Never. In fact, during that time, he maintained a 3.0 GPA and high honors in school. But one day, he knew it was time to quit. I guess we just get fed up. You know, when you get to a certain age, like now, I'm worrying about my financial stability. Now I'm worrying about how my family is going to be within the future. I want to get my mom out the hood and get her to a better you know, situation in life. Pursuing a career in R&B music, Mario packed his bags and moved to Hollywood. But he suddenly had a change of heart. I went to my bedroom and I laid down in the, in the bed and I pretty much just closed my eyes and I asked, like, God, what do you want me to do? At that time, I, clear as day, he came to me and he said to me, basically, be obedient, do my will. This would be the beginning of a career in gospel music. Mario's life story would serve as the inspiration for his new single. God has blessed you all of your life through all of your talents and tribulations. Knowing where he's come from and knowing where he's headed today brings out Mario's every emotion. It's very exciting. I didn't even expect this to even be happening right now. This is, um... Ah, excuse me, man. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, um... In the spec for it to go like this. Now we can try to make it work or we can quit. And now he's but singing to a different beat, one that he's truly thankful for. Praise God. Glory to God. Goodbyes and I know I never tried, but tell me, is it too late for me to change? Oh, and he is so talented, and we thank you, thank him for sharing his talent with us. I know he's watching this morning, uh, so we wish you a lot of success and, and just all the best in the concert tomorrow night. He actually gave me two tickets to his concert to give away to you, our local four viewers. Again, that concert is tomorrow, Friday night, April 17th, at Greater Grace Temple right here in Detroit. And for your chance to win, go to the Local 4 Facebook page and tell us who is your favorite gospel artist, other than, of course, Tamla Mann, Marvin Sapp, and Mario Wilson. Uh, Tell us why as well. We're going to pick the best winner and then contact them after the show.